Western Massachusetts is checking in and we're about to talk about it because Lovely T reported on this a couple weeks ago I guess um, about Paul Mooney raping um, Richard Pryor's um, son and how his twin sons are defending his honor okay so they said that Paul Mooney is way too ill and that's what we're about to focus on they said Paul Mooney is way too ill to defend himself is Paul Mooney dying guys I heard he was in the hospital. I heard his publicist, they always, you know, responding to all things regarding him, all co co um, communication and that sort of thing. Maybe this is why this information is coming forth because, you know, you gotta pay, you gotta pay, you know, before you leave the earth. You know, I thought Paul Mooney was solid. I liked Paul Mooney, he was always, the, you know, I guess the righteous one in um, Hollywood, I thought. That's how it appeared to me. I don't know how it appeared to you guys, but that's how it appeared to me. You understand? All I could say really is, damn, Paul Mooney. Like, I was so hurt and saddened by the news and disappointed by the news that I just you know, it was shocking to me. It was shocking to me like it was to many people, you know, that um, really do this. I'm like, oh my gosh, Paul Mooney. But they say he is gravely ill, like he is really sick. So is it right that we talk about Paul Mooney while he's on his deathbed? Are we kicking Mr. Mooney? When he's down, have we become that insensitive, guys? Do anyone even believe the story about Paul Mooney? Star was like, shit, when you start shaking the tree, a lot of monkeys are going to come out the tree. I'm saddened by this news with Paul Mooney and these allegations. But if they're the truth, he got to face his judgment, you know. And if he's really gravely sick like they're saying, and, you know, it's time for him to, you know, meet his maker, man. Oh, my gosh, guys. I I'm just still shocked about this news, Paul Mooney. I don't want to believe it. You understand? But he's human. And, you know, he's he's human. Look at the weatherman that just got caught up with all that child pornography. You know, Michael Jackson. They say Mike, Michael Jackson's legend um, legacy is so tarnished that nobody even want to accept some type of of war of award that they honor people with. That like Rihanna turned it down. I heard Beyonce too, if I'm correct. And like some type of award award they're thinking about giving it to I think Billy Idol or something like that. But the bottom line is this. This is really heartbreaking. But you know what? Bill Cosby can't escape his dirt. Michael Jackson didn't escape his dirt. Um, who else didn't escape their dirt? Art Kelly. You know? Something about Hollywood make you lose your damn mind. What is it about Hollywood? You know, how come it's always the black people that they're going after? How come with all of these sickos in the game of Hollywood, like that guy who was in Stand By Me, I want to say 
Eric Felton or something like that, the white guy. I remember his 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 interview when he was saying they're vultures. They like young booty. You understand? That's why you know. Look at the Gary Coleman's. May he rest in peace. Like look at the um the other the white girl um. That was the sister on that show. Something had to happen to Todd, too. He just had been able to get help, I guess. You understand? But when you think about it, it was called a different stroke. What did that really mean? What was really going on? What, you know, young people like that is not no longer with us. What happened? Why is this industry plagued with so much pedophilia in destroying children? I'm looking at a guy right now, and Lord forgive me, I should not judge. And he's an old man with a ring on his finger. And I'm just thinking about, is he a fucking pedophile too? Is this what the world has come to, guys? Me looking at a man today and thinking, damn, this, this man could be a pedophile. Like little children. I don't know. I'm so confused with this world. I swear, I got to get out of this world because it will make your your mindset so warped. Like, the way you look at individuals and people, even like black people. And I remember this lady, her name was Mook in my, my neighborhood and everything. And I met Mook when I was a young girl, before I even had kids, when I was out here in these streets, man. It wasn't long because I had children when I was a young girl. But I had met Mook back in the day because one of my friends used to date her brother. And so fast forward in life, Mook was like homeless. She had mental issues. She probably had them back then too. You know, I know she was on drugs. She had a drug addiction. And, you know, Mook, man, she was like, her boyfriend, some nigga she picked up and brought in her house. She was like, he stuck his big cock in my 12-year-old son's ass. And she was very distraught about that. She was like, this man raped her son, her boyfriend. Be careful when you bring these goddamn creeps around your kids, man. The girls and the boys, n neither one of them are safe. And it's heartbreaking because you think, why do a person grow up so heartless, want to hurt everything up, shoot everything up, kill people, have no feeling? It's because they keep these secrets, internal secrets of grown-ass men messing with them. I told you guys, a lot of adults messed up these people in life a lot of people I will say from the 50s the 60s and the 70s because by the 80s some of these people was on crack you understand by the 90s we done lost our children in the streets now 2000s people are crack oh my gosh violence geo gay just all compiled in one and it's heartbreaking and you know what Paul Mooney the way he was talking like he was our rich righteous brother he shouldn't have been caught up in all of that it was definitely something going on in his mind he shouldn't have been caught up in that type of stuff his name shouldn't have never been out there for touching anyone's child and even though I liked Paul Mooney from you know just I didn't know him personally but I liked his character and even though I did for him to be in this situation it is devastating and heartbreaking you understand and then to take advantage of a friend's child or any child for that matter but he was the worst kind of predator like most of these men are you better follow their eyes when they come in your house man you better be watching everything about these people man because you might have to transform on their ass real quick real quick you might have to go 
This motherfucker watching my kid. You understand? Be an until person. Until. As soon as you see this nigga like red flags going up about this motherfucker, you're going to have to, you know, handle that situation accordingly. Accordingly. These people are vicious out here. And it's your most respected person. The people you like and love the most. Even these goddamn young dudes. Because it's like, why do you want to work with kids? All of this manly work out here and you want to work with kids? Nah, nigga, you need to be picking up a shovel. You need to be putting a brick, laying a brick something somewhere. You need to be wiring some goddamn electricity around this motherfucker. You need to be doing some manly work. And then if you know you want to do your one-two with the men on the job, then you need to be doing that. You understand what I'm saying, man? Bye, guys. I'm just fed up. See you later.